What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bar, Jackson's Honest, P90X, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and in business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 hosts in-person VIP events and masterminds for top entrepreneurs all over the country, including many events in the e-commerce industry. Rise 25, I think last year we hosted events in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas, probably some I'm missing. Um, So if you see value of immersing yourself with other top entrepreneurs to connect and collaborate to get your business to the next level, go to rise25.com, contact us, and find out where our next event's gonna be. Today, I'm very excited. Um, we have Sadie Sheffer. Now, I was introduced to today's guest by Abigail Wald. She's a past guest, founder of Yes Bar. So thanks, Abigail, for that. Um, and when I started my research with Sadie, I found an article that came up, and it was called The Most Delicious Gluten-Free Bread Known to Humans. So I'm like, wow, okay, this is we're off to a good start here. So today we have state, you know, Sadie Sheffer, founder of Bread Seriously, It's Bay Area's first gluten-free sourdough bread company, and the company began late in 2011 after a bout of gluten-free sourdough experiments in her home kitchen, which I'm sure we'll hear about. The bread is free of any gluten, eggs, dairy, soy, sugar, tree nuts, peanuts, potatoes, and some other things I'm probably missing, but Sadie, I'm sure it's not free of good taste, right? That's what I've read. Um, She began to send 40, 60, 100 loaves out in the world, delivered by ladies on bikes. So I I need to hear about these stories too. (laughs) Most weeks she biked 100 miles plus to get the bread out. That's dedication. Uh, They're now found in stores all over California. They've expanded in Arizona and Idaho, including some regional Whole Foods and Safeways. And production has gone from her home kitchen to their sixth commercial kitchen. Sadie, thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Talk about the yeah. packaging, you know, because you guys have really beautiful packaging. And Thank you. And it started off, so we'll say a brown paper bag. And so how did you come up with what the present packaging? I'm pretty like? sure Vanessa made made the move from like a brown lunch bag to a brown coffee bag. Yeah. And we had we had this little rearrangeable stamp kit and a red ink pad and a brown ink pad. So we had like coffee bag it had like bread seriously classic gluten-free sourdough and that was it and we would like do the tin tie close it um and so we stuck with that for a couple years and then every time we did shows like especially gluten-free expos people would always be like oh this is so delicious but how long does it take to make you know i don't think i'm ever going to get around to baking it i'm like no 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 it's it's already baked it's in the bag but everybody thought it was a mix Mm, because of that because they well you can see the bread yeah you can see the no not oh you could oh gotcha Gotcha. so then it's Uh. like okay we have to have a window and i got this idea in my head that it had to be this adorable bread shaped window which is our logo uh so i entered into it does this like small business contest or i don't know if they still do it but they did it every year for a while and it was like a tell us your wish and maybe we'll give you five thousand dollars so i entered that (laughs) and said we have to have this bread window nobody knows what our product is and i won so i got this five thousand dollar grant yeah so that i could get the custom die to cut the bread shaped window and get these bags made so then the design process i started working with my friend rachel um, who's a graphic designer and you know I came to her with like a couple of bags and an exacto knife and we like cut out the bread shape and got it in exactly the right place and put the bread in it and as soon as we did that I was like we have to have this it's the perfect thing right um, so we did a pretty simple like it had a little speech bubble coming off the bread that said the flavor it was just a two-color design it was red and brown um, it had bread seriously with a little speech yeah. bubble said classic it said gluten-free sour yep. over here yeah, if anyone goes to yeah, you go to breadseriously.com, you can see it's just 
it's so clear, you know, gluten-free bread, vegan too, and then, you know, seriously with uh, the nice window and that's got the bubble with whatever yeah. flavor so it is. So. That's the second iteration of this. Okay. The first one, all of them are the same color. Mm. The little blurb said gluten-free sourdough bread. And then the speech bubble just said classic, seeded, sweet onion, kale, mm. sandwich rolls. And they were all the same color. So we had all this customer confusion where people got the wrong bag because they all look pretty much exactly the same. When we had our co-packer, you know, some of their staff would pack the wrong flavor in the wrong bag. And you had to actually read mm. each speech bubble as we packed the boxes to make sure ever, you know, make sure there wasn't a seeded loaf in a kale bag. Uh, the worst was when kale got packed in a classic bag because then you take out your classic sourdough loaf and it's got they green think, on it. Right. So everyone's like, oh, my God, there's moldy bread in here. You know, it's like that was the worst mistake to me. So then we knew we had to change the colors. And I did a col two color design just to save money because it, you have to pay a fee every time the printing company changes their inks, basically. Right. Uh, so then the next version, we picked a different color for each flavor. We, we wanted to showcase that the bread was vegan because most gluten free breads either have eggs or dairy in 100%, them. 100%. Yeah. And most I would think eggs people, would be a very common ingredient in it. Very common. They help a lot. They, they add rise, they add lightness, they add shelf life. You know, they add protein, which makes the bread softer. Like eggs are a magical ingredient. But most people who are gluten intolerant are not intolerant to just gluten. I like to yeah. say gluten intolerance comes with friends. Like it's very rare to find someone who's intolerant to just one thing. Yeah. So eggs and dairy are, I think, two of, that, if not the two most common other intolerances, yeah. then among the top two, I guess nuts following. Uh, yeah. So we wanted to showcase that as vegan. Um, and call that out right on the front. So we made that blurb, gluten-free gluten -free bread, vegan too, seriously, because we also wanted people to know what SRSLY meant. So we have to write out seriously right on the front. And then a lot of people would also, when they read the speech bubble that said classic or seeded, wouldn't realize that everything we do is sourdough. So at shows, people would be like, oh, the seeded was good, but I would like the sourdough. And we'd mm. be like, well, they're all sourdough. So now the speech bubble will say classic sourdough, seeded sourdough. Right. So it's just sourdough everywhere. And it also freezes up to make non-sourdough products if we ever want to, now that we have that separate separated blurb. Yeah. But so far, I don't ever want to. I love sourdough. And I think it's the best for everybody. But so yeah, and then I wanted to add some drawings just to have a little bit more flavor and a little bit of a softer feel. Um, so we drew up the, the, the little onion. onion. I see so, that, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was... Love it. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Are, it's interesting how the customer feedback immediately changes the packaging, right? Because people were like, oh, I don't want to bake it. And then you're like, oh, we need a window. You know, it just seems so obvious when someone says it, but it's not obvious when you're just creating a packaging. Um, really? Talk about the process of, you know, you guys are Celiac Support uh, Association certified. That seems like something difficult to, to do. Not really. You no. just, basically the main criterion is that I think for Celiac Support Association, you have mm. to have less than five parts per million gluten. So you you literally just annually we send products to a lab and they get tested. And if they're still below that five yeah. ppm mark, then we keep our certification. Yeah. You just have to pay for it, it and do some cool, paperwork. <laughs> it's not that complicated, but it's very important, um, especially since the FDA changed the regulations, I think, summer 2016 about gluten-free labeling, where... To label a product gluten-free, that means it now is required to have less than 20 parts per million gluten, but there is absolutely no enforcement by the FDA. So it it was like a blessing and a curse for gluten intolerant folk, especially people with celiac, where more brands suddenly labeled their stuff gluten-free, but less was trustable. You can't even yeah, you though don't there know. was no regulation. Right. It's like very weird weird thing. That's weird. So it's very important to have those third party certifications either from Celiac Support Association or from the Gluten Intolerance Group. That's the little like yeah. GF circle. Um, yeah. So we have both of those. Yeah. yeah. Sadie, first of all, I have two more questions, but thank you. This has been fantastic. I don't know if I've ever laughed this hard in an actual interview before. <laughs> awesome. The fact that there was a whale dead under the pier, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but everyone should check out breadseriously.com I guess I didn't know because I was just going to bread s r s l y.com but I guess you could spell it out too so 
there you go. Uh, go to breadseriously.com, see what they're doing, awesome stuff, and hopefully they'll expand into an area wherever you are too. Um, like I'm in Chicago. I definitely want to buy Bread Seriously, so I guess I'm going to have to wait to visit my friends in San Francisco or tell them you need to go get this stuff. Um, so thank you for sharing all this. The two last questions, um, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask what's been a low moment and what's been a very proud moment uh, for you. Um, what's been, what's been, I mean, we've talked about a bunch of really hard times. What's yeah. been a low moment in the business? Uh, the past few months have been a very low moment for me. Mm, um, really? I mean, I've had many low moments, yeah. you know, moments where I want to quit, but the past few months have been extremely challenging where basically it's the first time in three and a half years that I'm baking again. You know, my arms are like covered in burns and wow. scars and stuff from suddenly being back in the kitchen, um, having to basically relearn my products because that was so out of sight, out of mind for, for the last three years. Um, but also having to double my staff overnight. Mm. So, and not having the ability to do that. So thankfully we found just other we needed people bakers, we needed packagers and then we needed people to manage the bakers and the packagers. So it's been, I would yeah. say two weeks ago was the first week that it's been smooth. And last week was not smooth because someone got the stomach flu. Someone had a family emergency. Yeah. Someone had a prior commitment that they had let me know about in advance, and someone was on vacation. More staff, more so problems. It's like, thing. You know, it's just yeah. the staffing has been so challenging, um, and like we've we've had such low turnover in the last three years, where my employees have been with me for three years, two years, one year. Uh, they just and, and if there is turnover, it's pretty slow. Like, gradual. Someone will stay like, for six. You know? right. So it's not super high. And then suddenly I'm having people stay for a day and then not show up to the next shift or a week and then call out or, you know, so it's finding. It's disruptive. <laughs> it's yeah. like constantly, constantly interviewing, constantly hiring people, constantly finding out that they can't come or having to let them go. And it's been crazy. But I think we've got a really good team right now. Yeah. Especially now that my manager is back from his two-week vacation. Um, he just got back. This like I have a company so announcement. No more vacations for anyone. <laughs> I know. It's my own For name. three I'm years. Vacation, no, I'm, right? no. I'm like, yeah, I'll give you paid vacation, but I hope you never use it. <laughs> you know, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> so, you know, I can't blame him. He's been saving it up for like two years. So, um yeah, we have a really good team right now, but it's been extremely challenging. And when before we had the good team, I was literally working 22 hours straight. Yeah, uh, you pick up all the has slack. A couple of 24-hour shifts, you know, yeah. which is a, a testament to him and his loyalty. And it's amazing that someone will do that for you. Uh, and it was just like we had to get the job done. We had we grew so much for the holidays this past. So it wasn't like, it wasn't just because we didn't have a co-packer. It was because there were we a lot immediately of went from 4,000 yeah. units a week to 6,500 units a week yeah. within two weeks of moving right. because Thanksgiving is so crazy and it didn't go back down until mm. two weeks ago. That's a good problem so. to have, but it's still, Great. it's yeah, still tough. All the best yeah. problems, it's growing still pains, problems. you know, can be really hard in a business too. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's also been a really high point that we made it through the holidays that I managed to retain some employees <laughs> and managed to really find right. some gems in the new people I've hired, like people I'm really excited to have on the team mm. that's, that I'm like very happy to be working alongside so that like the, the people are the hardest part and the most rewarding part mm. of running the business. What's uh, so proudest? What's been one of the proud moments? <laughs> I mean, there's there's a lot, and they're all sizes. Like I'm, I'm proud to be selling bread in my favorite grocery store, which is Good Earth in Fairfax. You know, and I'm proud to, you know, have people. When I say I work with bread seriously, people know what that is, mm. and and are excited to meet me. I love that. Um, but I'm also very very proud of my staff for pulling through this crazy time, and like. I'm, you know, I'm proud that they stuck with me. I'm proud to be able to give them 
a good job, especially in the food industry where people get paid terrible wages and they have terrible conditions. Um, you know, I'm proud to be a good employer. Yeah. Yeah. Sadie, thank you. Um, I want to round out because we never really finished. We talked about you going to San Francisco for Jesse, right? And finally he, you know, you guys started dating. Close the loop on that. What? what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next week is our two-year anniversary of our wedding. So nice. we, we did get married. We've been All together right. for uh, just shy of eight years. Very so cool. Things are going very well. Thank <laughs> you again. Thanks for <laughs> anyone who's wondering. But um, everyone should check out breadseriously.com. Um, and I want to be the first one to thank you. Say it's been fantastic. It was really fun. Thanks yeah. so much. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. <laughs>